You know, I love technologies. As the medical futurist, my actual daily job is constantly analyzing the future directions of technologies like uh, augmented reality or artificial intelligence and how this will impact medicine and healthcare. But sometimes it's easy to overhype these technologies. And I thought I should provide you with an objective and fair overview and give you a list of some of the technologies that have been really overhyped in recent years. Let's jump right into it. Number one, 3D printed medications. Don't get me wrong, this is a mind-blowing technology. Just the idea that it's possible to use 3D printers to print out medications with customized ingredients or in customized dosages, it's amazing. But where are these medications? I get it, there are some of these approved for epilepsy, for treating epilepsy seizures, and there are certain very specific areas. Otherwise, there is no chance that you could find out how to get 3D printed medications with customized dosages for your own conditions. So 3D printed medications keep on just staying in the science vision like discussions. Number two, the digital contact lens. There was a huge debate a few years ago about how the company Novartis and Google working together could develop a digital contact lens that could even measure blood glucose levels from tears. The hype was huge around it. It could change the lives of diabetes patients for good, but then the project was halted and they stopped everything. They, they stopped working on developing such a mind-blowing technology. Only the hype remained, but there is no practical example of how we could see this unfold in action. Number three, telemedicine kiosks. This is an idea that's weird as hell. Just imagine you place a kiosk into a supermarket or a store, a healthcare facility, a point of care building, and then you expect patients to go into that kiosk to measure vital signs and health parameters and talk to a physician remotely that they can also do by just using their smartphone. So the whole idea is strange and yet we haven't seen any companies thriving with the idea of kiosks, but still these are being overhyped in the literature, sometimes in the literature, but even more importantly in news and press releases coming from these companies. Number four, organs on a chip. That's again a very mind-blowing technology to be able to mimic how the human organs work, but in an in silico way, just creating a, a technological way of mimicking how the liver works. So then we will be able to test potential drugs or molecules on that organ on a chip technology. Great studies are coming out about these technologies, but if you look at the, the news articles and press releases focusing on the outcomes of those papers and studies, you find only hype. And yet, if you want to look for practical examples, case studies that an institution, a research group used organs on a chip techniques, you find only sporadic examples. So hype is huge with that trend. Number five, augmented and mixed reality. My favorite example in this video. You look at Apple Vision Pro or Microsoft HoloLens and you find out that the technologies look great in practice, but they are really expensive. It's just far away from a wider adoption, especially when it comes to healthcare and maybe even uh, low resource regions. So we see great videos coming from marketing teams of these groups, but then when it comes to healthcare, you cannot expect a hospital to buy Apple Vision Pros or HoloLens devices and then expect the surgeons to start working with them when everything is expensive in this market. So the hype is amazing, but the practical solutions remain unclear. Number six is about medical tricoders. You know, the Star Trek idea that you use one device, a portable diagnostic technology, and you could measure many vital signs and health parameters at once. And there are technologies like this making some of this happen, but there is still no tricoder. And even a decade ago, at 2015, 2014, there were many news reports about the idea that this and that company was working on this technology. It's 2024 and there are still no medical tricoders. A smartwatch or a health sensor connected to a smartphone can obtain certain vital signs and health parameters, but the medical tricoder keeps being in the Star Trek series. Number seven, what else? Artificial intelligence. I mean, AI still shows more promise, 
than what risks it might come with. But the hype is simply extraordinary. Every company in healthcare now wants to do AI, even if they just use an Excel spreadsheet. Or now, recent months, they are focusing on generative AI, so they want to build large language models. They're always trying to get on the hype train. But you know, in medicine, we can only use technologies that have enough evidence in the background based on clinical trials and peer-reviewed studies. And they can only trust the company's claims when they can prove the worth of their technological ideas and their safety and efficiency through these studies and clinical trials. And until then, AI is just going to be a hype. And the last one in this list is about humanoid nurse robots. There's an interesting paradox called the Moravets paradox that concludes that it's easier to develop AI-based algorithms for high cognitive functions to be the CEO of a stock market company than to develop a robot, an algorithm that can, for example, take the stairs or have motor functions like a baby. So to develop a robot that could take over the tasks that a nurse does these days, is simply not worth it. And we will see AI taking care of medical decision-making or analyzing radiology images in complex forms then seeing robots moving patients in between rooms or dressing them up because people are so much better at that task. So it just remains a hype. I don't want to say that these trends will not become real and that these technologies will not become part of how we deliver healthcare, but we have to fight the hype. The hype is an enemy here. Everyone working in healthcare must need confirmation, studies, clinical trials, proof, and they have to gain trust while using these technologies. And if companies keep on overhyping the importance of some of these, that's not gonna help achieve that goal. I hope that this video helped achieve that goal to avoid hype in the near future. If you like this video, please subscribe below to get notified about every single new video we come up with. And also please go to medicalfuturist.thinkific.com where you will find our two courses, the digital health course and our newest one, Introduction to Artificial Intelligence in Medicine and Healthcare. See you there.